What's going on everybody? My name is Joey Nato. I am an artist slash music producer. If you want to hear some of my music, I'll leave a link right in the description below. Our friend V here from BTS has a new song called Scenery. Well, to me it's new. I mean, you guys, I think you guys have known about it for maybe a week now or so. But I've been sleeping for the past six days, so I finally woke up and it's time to do more reactions. I've been working on a lot of music lately, man, so I haven't been able to do these uh, reactions, but um, now we're back on it. Let's see what our friend Tae Young has for us here. I'm gonna be looking at this from a music production perspective, so I'll be pointing out a lot of musical elements about the song, and y you'll see, you'll see what it's all about. But look, it's 2019, there's no more time to waste, so let's get into it. and walking through the snow and reminds me of like the intro of spring day kind of not music wise but the sound effects sound like it might have had to do with the beginning of that video maybe I don't know loving these piano chords already liking it a lot so far it's just pianos and his vocals his vocals aren't raw it sounds like it has a little bit of a reverb on there there's a lot of bass in his voice he always you know he has a low tone of voice naturally but it's a little bit more emphasized when that when they eq his vocals and they just boost the you know the low to mid ends just a little bit like the 100 to 300 hertz somewhere around there if more elements and like more bass oriented instruments come in like kicks and a bass or something like that then they'll probably cut back away on the low tone of his voice and it will sound a little bit more thinned out but this is just some observations i'm starting i'm just making predictions mixing predictions at this point here so ignore all that <laughs> let's keep going here And one, th one thing I gotta say here is, uh, alright, he's hitting us with these breathy vocals here, but they're leaving a lot of the breaths in there. Sometimes they want to cut out, sometimes engineers cut out, like the extra noise that the vocalist makes in between phrases, but they're leaving it all in here. This is a very raw recording, which is cool. I like it. They incorporate a lot of nature into their lyrics. I still wonder, wonder, beautiful story. Still wonder, wonder, best part. I still wonder. This is like a ballad so far, definitely. Oh, okay. I like that change there. I want to make your mind. Okay. Piano's intensifying a little bit. I think they threw a different filter, maybe even a flanger on them a little bit to give it a little bit more of a modulated type of effect on those pianos. I like it. There's that snow boots walking through the snow sound again. Pretty interesting. And that little flick sound, I think that sounded like a camera. That sounded like a camera to me. And then he says that look of that moment, moment being captured. It sounded like a camera to me. It might not be, but that's what it sounded like. Alright, now now they cut out the breaths in that part. Did you hear that? After he said be that moment again, after he said that, you could hear like the background noise or the white noise or whatever, it cuts out. So they didn't leave in the breaths during that part, which is kind of interesting. You have to listen really closely and you probably have to have headphones on to hear that detail. 
And now we're being introduced to some uh, stacked vocals, some dubbed vocals. So it's him singing, and then he has some vocals layering over it, panned to the sides on the left side and the right side here. So it just sounds more full. Strings, pianos, and vocals. school American movie type of feel to it. Is this song going to climax? I'm wondering if it's going to climax. <laughs> Once you hear that low, like defining piano note, that usually means it's over, but it doesn't look like it's over. It looks like it's getting there though, so I don't think the song is gonna climax to having a bass line and drums and everything like I said, but I like it. You know, it kinda, you know, songs like this don't need to climax, I guess, and I guess it complements the lyrics a little bit because he's like, he's wondering about what could be about something. I didn't catch all the lyrics that well, that's not my forte. He never gets to where he's trying to go in the song. So the musical composition reflects that because it doesn't climax, you know what I mean? Protect that one. Inside black and white. Now you could really hear the strings. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me hear this little ending part here. Oh, okay. I thought I thought that was a bass note. I thought they were like they just like just a giant F you Joey by just putting one little bass note at the end. But it was a piano note acting as a bass note, just very low and very uh low velocity on the sound really. Well, if he ever performs that live, it's gonna cause some tears. So all right, I, I like Tae Young's uh, uh, ballad voice there, like the ballad style. That's the first solo song I've heard from him since I heard Singularity, and Singularity was a whole different type of style. This one was just straight sad part of a movie, put this song in that scene <laughs> type of song. I mean, usually pianos and soft strings, usually that's pretty much the recipe. Uh, you usually don't even need vocals to capture that kind of emotion. So his vocals on top of it definitely sealed the deal. You know, honestly, as far as music production goes, I think I touched on literally everything there is to talk about. <laughs> because there isn't that many elements. There's only three elements to the song, his voice, the strings, and then the piano. But the piano did have some like weird effects going on. like the. They threw on some filters and did some automation, meaning they changed it in certain parts, and I don't know. I feel like those modulation effects that I was saying, like on the piano, came and went a little bit, which is kind of interesting. I haven't really heard that before, especially in a, in a ballad. It kind of added some modernization to it a little bit, which is also interesting because when those strings were really, when the strings were at their climactic, like big part of the song, it started to have almost like a classic movie type of feel, like, black and white American movie 
type feel. I don't know. I, I don't really know what I'm trying to say here. I think you get what I'm trying to say. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Even if you don't get what I'm trying to say, I'm sure you could appreciate what I'm trying to say. So yeah, V has a very distinct voice. It's always dope to hear his voice shine on a song. Not many people could get away in this day and age. Not a lot of people could get away with having that really low tone in their voice. People people want to hear a little bit more of a higher register, especially from a singer and especially from a male singer. It's just more impressive. But I think where, where he impressed me is definitely his voice control because it takes a lot of breath to sing those low notes. But um, those falsettos were very beautiful as well. And it just had like a, a real raw feel to it. I don't know if he sang the whole song all in one take, but that's definitely what they wanted you to think and wanted you to feel. It's supposed to sound like he just got on stage, all the lights went out, and he's just singing raw vocals while his vocal resonates through the stadium or wherever he's singing, and there's someone playing a piano right next to him. That's the type of the feel they were going for here. Let me know what you guys thought about the song. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. I don't got a cool outro line yet, so I'll just say I appreciate you guys. Nado! You